If you're watching this video, you care about your privacy and you wanna take steps to limit advertisers and streaming services from using your viewing data to sell you stuff. In this video, we walk you through step-by-step -step how to take control of your privacy settings on your Fire TV device. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to manage what advertisers and app developers can access. Let's get started. First, navigate to the Settings menu on the home screen of your Fire TV device. Then, click Preferences. Under Preferences, select Privacy Settings. Here, we have several options to adjust. Let's start with Manage Sharing from Apps. Amazon says keeping this setting on makes it easier to continue watching your favorite shows, improve your recommendations and ads, and allows supported third-party apps to share your viewing and content information with Amazon. If you don't want data about your watch activity, watch lists, recordings, rentals, and app purchases shared, select the Off button. Amazon says it will apply your choice to all apps that support this feature. Next, click the Manage Participating Apps option. If you want to allow sharing from some apps and not others, you can see which of your apps are supported here and control data sharing on an app level. Yeah, for example, here we can select from Hulu, Peacock, Max, and Disney Plus and allow all, none, or some to share our viewing data with Amazon. It also improves content recommendations and in theory serves up more relevant ads. If you set this as on, supported third-party apps will be able to share your viewing and content information with Amazon. Now let's look at device usage data settings. This controls what personal data of yours is collected by the Fire TV operating system and shared with others to sell you products and services you might be interested in based on what you watch and do on your Fire device. Turning this setting off will not affect any of the features or functionality of the device, and it may not reduce the number of marketing offers you're seeing either. It just means they won't be personalized and they may not be as relevant. It also does not affect the processing of your data from other Amazon services, including Prime Video on your Fire TV device. To turn it off, just select the button that says Turn Off. Now, let's look at the Collect App Usage Data setting. Select that option from the Privacy Settings menu. You will see a message from Amazon telling you that the App Store collects information about your use of the apps you download from it for functionality purposes and to share with app developers. Amazon says the data is aggregated and non-personally identifiable. Still, if you want it off, just select the Turn Off button. Now let's finish up with ads. This setting allows apps to use your advertising ID to show personalized ads to you that are supposed to be more relevant because they are supposed to be based off of your viewing activity. Turning this option off will stop personalized ads from appearing based on your data. To do so, just click the Turn Off button. If you want to reset your activity history for advertisers because your interests have changed, you can reset your advertising ID. An advertising ID is a unique random ID that Amazon makes available to apps for advertising purposes. Resetting it gives you a new ID and a new set of activity history for advertisers. To reset this, just press the three line button on your Fire TV remote. And that's it. You've now customized your Fire TV device to better protect your privacy and enhance your viewing experience. While ads certainly aren't going anywhere, and guarding your privacy is getting harder, it's helpful to know what you can control on popular streaming devices like Fire TV. That's something we'll keep helping you do on our channel and in our live streams, which air on Fridays at noon central. What's your biggest pet peeve with Fire TV? Which ads bother you the most? Let us know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can get all our latest news and reviews when they drop. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.